Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. I'm alive. Doesn't rhyme really good, but it's still a good story. For those of you who followed my adjourn me, my a journey, apparently I'm Italian, my a journey in a 2018, you know that it was quite a woo, roller coaster ride. Well, today is the one year anniversary of what we now call National Purple Day. Please make note, the family's wearing purple, some, not all, no pressure. But the reason it's National Purple Day is one year ago today, on a Sunday morning, I walked in after throwing up for three days, I walked into the bathroom to take a shower and I got naked. <laughs> and when I did, I, I was purple, completely purple. I yelled for my daughter, Chelsea, call your dad. I don't think this is good because Rodney was at church. He comes running home and he's like, I think we need to go to the hospital. And I says, no, I think I'm purple because, you know, I have a new black shirt. And I really think that the shirt is just kind of faded and that's what's happening. He goes, we're going to go to the hospital. So here we go, we take the journey to the hospital, we get in there and they put me on a stretcher and I'm literally as bloated as a tick. What they said later on was that I was carrying the weight of a woman pregnant with triplets. So I had a 60 inch round belly and I'd lost so much weight, my arms and legs were like sticks. It was just, I was a sight to behold. And they come wheeling me in and I'm in my wheelchair because I can't breathe and walk at the same time and breathing seemed to be important so they didn't make me walk. And they wheel me in and I'm still laying in the hallway. They hadn't even found a room for me yet. And the nurse comes in and they're checking my vitals and she goes, what's your problem? And I go, well, I'm purple today. And she goes, what? And I go, I don't know. I went to get in the shower and my, my stomach is just giantly purple. And so she pulls my shirt up. She goes, wow, it is purple. And I said, I think my shirt faded on it. So she, to appease my delusion, <laughs> she gets a little alcohol wipe and she peels it off and she rubs. She goes, yeah, that's not coming off. And I go, try again. No, 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 it's definitely purple on the inside. Apparently that was warrant enough to put me into a room. Okay, so I was in the room for a few hours. They're checking everything. And then they come back, for those of you who have not heard the story, and they says, okay, we've done a CT scan and we found that there is a mass in your body. And it was however many centimeters. I later went on to find that it was three centimeters larger than a beach ball. Not exaggerating, 100% the truth. Not only that, but I was completely dehydrated. I was had acute renal failure. The EKG showed that my heart rate was like bzz, 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 everything. So they were assuming that I was about to at any moment. And my liver numbers were so off. So they said, your kidneys are failing, your heart is failing, and your liver is failing. And you have a beach ball in your belly. Uh, we need to get you down to KU immediately. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're overreacting. I'll just call my doctor on Monday and we'll work all this out. Well... They didn't let me take life into my own hands. Thank goodness. So they threw me in the back of an ambulance, my first ambulance ride. And it was about this time one year ago today. So I thought, oh, I've got to tell my friends, happy anniversary to me. So they threw me in the ambulance. And once again, for those of you that heard the story, I was so winded, I couldn't lay flat on my back because I later went on to find out that I had 44 and a half pounds of fluid removed happy anniversary tomorrow that all right if i call today national purple day tomorrow i'm gonna call juicing day because i literally look like a big giant purple grape i was round and i was purple and they put me in a room and squished all my juice out and ta-da <laughs> i was a lot better not healed but a lot better and so tomorrow i won't post a story about national juicing day i'll go ahead and let that carry over today and so they take me by ambulance down there. I couldn't lay down because I was suffocating under my own weight. And it was in such pain that the, the tumor had pressed against my um, spine. And so it showed that I had scoliosis. Um, and which once they removed the beach ball, my back went, Broom. thank you, Dr. Graham, for the great chiropractic work. <laughs> anyway, back to, I, I digress. And so they put me in an ambulance. They got me down there and they didn't know what to do with me. Nobody knew what to do, so they just put me in a room. All I had was an IV of just saline or whatever they call it, sodium chloride. I don't know what it is. They didn't know what to do. And so here's my poor husband and I by ourselves sitting in this room thinking, wow, at what point does she just blow 
We don't know. Fortunately for us, we're people of faith, and so we wasted no time. We immediately got to praying. And the great thing is, is we had been taught an aggressive faith through our Christian life. Faith that can move a mountain. Faith that says, God, if your word says it, I believe it. And so I believe. And that's what my husband and I did. We called a handful of people and just said, seriously, I didn't want a lot of people to know because I didn't want to freak everybody out, you know. How do you tell everybody, hey, I'm the size of a uh, beach ball in my belly? And, no. and so I didn't want to freak everybody out. So we just called a few people and said, look, you better get to praying because the doctor's report's kind of grim. But at no point did I lose my peace. At no point did I lose my joy. I had been building up to this point for several months. And through it all, I just knew my faith would hold me. I had no idea what it was going to hold me through. But just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Old Testament reference, they, the king said, you need to bow and worship this bad guy. And they said, no, not doing it. And he said, you either do it or you're going into the fire. And they said, throw us in the fire. Our God will deliver us. And if not, well, whatever. And so here's the deal. I went into the fire July 1st, 2018. The cool thing is their testimony was I went into the fire, came out. I didn't even smell like smoke because there was a fourth man in the fire. That's my testimony today. They may have taken me to KU. They may have not known what to do with me. They may have left me laying there until the next morning and they went, well, she's still alive, didn't stroke out. So I guess we might want to do something. So they juiced me. <laughs> and the deal is I had peace the whole time because I knew that there was a fourth man in the fire. Well, in our case, it was a third man in the fire because just me and Rodney was in that room. <laughs> so yeah, there I am folks, one year ago today, being rushed about now to KU. And which, by the way, I'll tell you another story another day. I'm going to give you a little more details. If you think about it, I gave this testimony, the condensed version, earlier on in the year. But I'm going to give you a little more detail here as it's progressing because it's therapeutic for me. Every day this last year, I have redeemed that day. Every single morning, I would wake up and I would think, where was I last year at this time? What was I thinking and what was I doing? And I was going to do even greater this year. So... Now here we are, we're in the fire. So I'm gonna be giving you the details. Like I said, you don't have to listen to it. This is for me, it's for nobody else. Unless you need faith and then please listen because I'm telling you, it's a story of faith. So here's the deal, National Purple Day. I don't think I can declare a national day. So just appease me on that. Um, we're just gonna say, what's, what's not international, semi-national, um, residential Purple Day. <laughs> This is residential Purple Day. My residents celebrating Purple Day because one year ago today, I was purple. Stay tuned. It's got a great ending. Love you guys.